Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Boxy Charms July Beauty Box. So I already went ahead and opened this box. So all I'm going to be doing is sharing with you guys what I received in my box. I don't want to make this video too long, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I already took the plastic off and everything and cut the tape off. So we're just gonna go and start with the card. So it's the trifold card per usual. And the theme for this month's box is BoxyCharm Road Trippin'. Wish you were here. And we got five beauty products in this month's box. So let's just jump right into the products. So the first one here on the trifold is by Dr. Brand. It's the no more baggage, say goodbye to puffy and say hello to youthful, rested looking eyes. So this is the no more baggage eye depuffin gel, which I have here. So Dr. Brandt's brand is not a new brand to BoxyCharm. I've received, I think a couple other things from this brand. I think a face, face mask. So this yeah is an under eye gel. This will definitely come in useful when we do have a little extra baggage there. But it it has like an orange tint to it. And it's a little bit of a thicker consistency. And there's just a very slight fragrance to it, but it's nothing too overpowering. I would always say yes for under eye baggage cream because my baggage sometimes need a zip code of its own so that's definitely going to come in useful okay so next up here on the list is the fuego eyeshadow collection this is from crown brush and this retails for $29.99 i didn't mention the first one but the dr brand's no more baggage retails for 42 bucks so next up, like I said, is the eyeshadow palette. So this one from Crown Brush. And these colors do remind me of like a more fall color. There are definitely some warmer tones to them. There's no names to the shades, so I can't like describe or tell you which shade I'm swatching, but I can swatch a few of the metallic ones here. Oh, these are so pretty. So they're definitely more warmer autumn tones, which I do like. I'm not a big fan of bright, bold colors on my eyelids just because I'm not a makeup artist. So the more neutral the palette, the better for me. It just works out better so I'm not around looking like a clown, if you know what I mean. I do enjoy a more neutral palette. I don't play around much with colors, so I'm definitely gonna be making a lot of use out of this one just because the tones are more, yeah, neutral friendly. Okay, so next up we have something from Wonder Beauty. So this is the mascara. I actually have this mascara on right now. It's the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This retails for $24. I do like this mascara. It's not as volumizing as other mascaras that I've used, but it does a pretty good job at actually separating the lashes. I think the package is really cute. It's definitely different. I've never had a mascara that came in like a tube like this one. I love the gold. I love this nice burgundy color. Um, it's really a nice packaging. I really do like this a lot. This is not gonna be like the first mascara I grab just because I look for more volume. I do have my lashes already curl naturally so I just want a little bit more volume on my lashes to make it look more full but this is still a pretty decent mascara I feel like I could just use this for a more toned down look so I'll definitely make use out of this okay so next up we have something from note cosmetics so this is the luminous silk compact blusher number no. five desert rose from note gosh there you go so like I said this is in the color desert rose 
and I'm actually gonna try this on because I'm, I haven't tried it. I've opened it, but I haven't tried it. Right now, the blush that I'm using is from Pretty Vulgar, and that's the Hush blush that I received in a previous Boxy Charm. I believe that was like two months ago. Wow, this is like a peachy tone. Very pretty. And very pigmented as well. So I'm just gonna kind of put this on here. Oops. I think I put a little bit too much on there. So I am a big fan of wearing blush and I feel like that's what blush does. It puts color in your face, makes you look more youthful. You can see the slight tint there. I'll just add a little bit more. But honestly, a little of this goes a long way. But I'm blush crazy. I do love a good blush. But this, I will be getting a lot of use out of this one and I feel like there's enough in there to last me a pretty long time even though I'm a heavy blush user but that's really enough product to, to last me for a good amount of time and also this has like a slight smell to it which some people may not like but actually I do not mind that perfume scent so the last thing I have here this is from Chella Beauty before that the blush retails for $11.99 and now with the Chella Beauty, this is an eyebrow cream. So it says here that this effortless, effortlessly defines and shapes your eyebrows with its creamy consistency and built-in brush. So it's supposed to be like a velvet formula too. But I already have my eyebrows done. Um, so yeah, on one end you have the angled brush and on the other end oh are you supposed to screw it up I think so so on the other end you have the product in there so you're supposed to actually dip the angle end into this end if that makes sense so you dip your angled end into this end I don't know how I feel about that though I feel like it's too much of a hassle. It's good that you have your brush and your eyebrow cream on one package, but just the way it's set up here makes you work a little bit harder than most of us would like. But if I can just... So this would not be my shade, honestly. I'm just gonna swatch this. Yeah, this is swatching a bit too gray for me. So this is not something that I could use. I mean, I could use it, but I would have to put something darker over it just to not have it look so gray and oddly. So that's how it's swatching on my hands right now. It's definitely not my color. It's too light for me, but I do get the idea of why the package was designed that way. For some of us that might be too much to work with which I get and this one retails for 26 bucks so in total this box was hundred and thirty three dollars and ninety eight cents which is pretty darn good in my opinion I think I have received better boxes in the past but then again um, they were a few products in here that I've never tried before so like Chella, like Wonder Beauty, like the Crown Pro, I've never tried anything from these before. No, so four of these are completely new brands to me. So in that sense, I think it was definitely worth it because I love getting products from new brands. So the only brand in here that I did try before from BoxyCharm is the Dr. Brand. So overall, I do think this was a good box, like I said, in terms of the brands for me. It was definitely worth it, 133 bucks combined. Oh, and just so you guys know, on my lips, I'm wearing Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Famous. So yeah, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Famous. 
and on top of that I have Maybelline's Python metallic lip kit this is in the shade passionate just to put like a little sparkle shimmer on top and I think it came out really well what do you guys think make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you're made aware of every time I post a video and that is all I got for now so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye